Hello and welcome to another video for the channel. On this video we're going to be talking about the typical question that I'm getting asked a lot, which is why is my temperature so high when the percent that's getting used uh, for the CPU is so low? In, in, in some cases you I'm using like the 15% CPU usage with an 85 Celsius right there, degree Celsius. The reason for that which I'm getting a hint of is the way that Mango has is actually analyzing this information. So I'm getting that, I'm getting the idea that the 30 something percent here, for example, it's the total number of cores that either exist or are being used by the, by the game divided by the actual frequency that's being used for each one. Okay. The sum of that of them and then you we get a percentage but for the temperature i'm and i'm going to show you why i answer a couple of you guys um by basically saying that the temperature looks like it's coming from either the first core just the first core because it's only analyzing the first core or probably the first couple of cores but it's not the average temperature for the whole cpu so it's like the probably the highest one or just the first one that's getting red there. Uh, I did use LM sensors. I did use other known extensions to actually evaluate this. And they were giving me far less temperature um, for the CPU at the moment that the Mango Hut was giving me this. So uh, I won't say it's a false positive, but it's actually grabbing this this temp the temperature that's showing right now that 80 that you're seeing there most likely is coming from either the highest temperature on a core or it's reading the core zero okay so what we're going to do now for this game i'm actually if you're looking at the frame um at the fps right now it's i'll show you why it's a little bit lower than the last video that i did in a second okay uh, but let's let's do something because on the latest um, Mango HUD, you can actually change the um, the config on the fly. Okay. So here we're gonna. I doubt I have it. Yep, I don't have it here. So it's actually core load. So if I put core load equals one. By the way, this is my settings right now. This is what you're seeing there for the Mango HUD. If I save this. In real time, it actually updates the whole thing here. So here you can see that everything is boosted. Okay. Obviously, if you're we're getting close to the 5,500 mark for a 13900K CPU, that means it's getting boosted. But and that the 30 something is more or less what I was thinking, which is the average between all of them at the same time. But the temperature. I don't think the temperature is, is that correct one. So what we're going to do is because I have sensors here. See, I run sensors. I can see the temperature here, 60 something, 70 something for in total. And it does look like it's it's the one that's showing there. But let's do a watch. Let's do a watch uh, for one second for sensors. And also, so we don't get that. This, this information here for the NVMe, let's just put core there. Okay, so let's watch this every second. Okay, you can see. Let me make it a little bit bigger. Um, and let's put it like this. So you can actually appreciate the thing there, and always on top. Okay, so we can see that it says here 87, and we can see more or less that I would agree to that. But that's because I'm overloading the the whole computer. So uh, I'll show you that in a second. For now, look at the graph, look at the course, look at the temperature, and you would agree that, yep, that, that corresponds. Like uh, you have that high temperature there for all of them. That's because I also install the, the, the I forgot, the GNOME extension that boosts, that maintains the boost here. And the power mode, I change it. Typically for the videos, I don't change this, but this is a scheduler, basically. The power mode that comes by default with Ubuntu. So I'm going to disable the boost. Just disable the boost there. 
and let's go back into the game and you're gonna see that now it's 50 degrees everything's going down here everything is going down okay again you would agree yep I'm seeing yeah I'm seeing a tendency there I'm seeing the correct amount that should be showing there okay again because I'm overloading the computer so I'm just gonna kill this game again we're getting an average of something FPS there like 130 to 140 I'm gonna kill this game because we can go to the other ones if we wanted to like here's the final okay the final was that that um that amount of core usage and temperature but let's go to far cry here and just just kill the game there we go okay we have now let's analyze this one by the way we also have here GTA open okay we have GTA open there if we do a boost let's do the boost again look at the the um, current FPS so we're getting 140 to 160 let's put it like that if I enable the boost meaning if it's a game that relies either mostly or at some part for the FPS performance on the CPU you'll eventually see a boost here but the boost might be very little okay might be very little let me lower the volume over there where's the audio here yeah lower that there we go okay so it might be very little for the boost and we're seeing the temperatures again we're seeing the temperatures rise a lot just with the boost for a small percentage of the cpu usage so we have a dilemma here we have the dilemma of do you actually want to see do you actually require the boost for or is it really necessary for gaming just to gain a couple of fps by the way that that fps is whack it's going crazy there let me let me kill this one yeah let me kill this one we're just just wanted to show you the boost that we're getting for the fps that we're getting okay and kill that one too that's because i was experimenting with a couple of things right now um okay so we have we have the game here running let me see a hundred and something and let me remove the boost okay so we're getting a little bit more that's all at least here in the menu at least through all the things that we just did with the with all the games running at the same time i'm going to change the scheduler eh almost the same thing now let's enable the boost again or at least for specific games that use the boost well that boosted a lot you can see they jump from the 110 or 115 or something to 140 something and again you're getting this boost of fps because most likely the game actually uses the cpu a lot and you can see which cpus are being used but the temperatures don't really correspond here you can see an average of 50 something when here you're seeing you just saw there 70 for example there see 70 so it, it doesn't there's something wrong going on so my 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 idea or my hypothesis here is either is looking at the first core that it can or it's looking at the one that has the highest temperature that's what i'm trying to get to um that's that's what i'm trying to investigate because the, the question that i get asked about why you're using 15 percent 20 percent like in this case you're using 20 percent of the cpu in total and it's costing you 70 degrees makes no sense and if you go here and you look at this you see all of them at 50 something 80 something 
but remember the CPU is actually the CPU temperature actually goes up and down really fast okay and it this only shows you the highest one like if, if we were to analyze this the average should be 60 something not almost 20 degrees more so my again my hypothesis is either it's using first core and every time it jumps up uh, we get that one or let me just cancel this and make it quicker okay 60 something it says here and then suddenly you're gonna see that see now it's in the 70 something i just saw 170 here somewhere so then my guessing of the highest one it looks like it could be it looks like it most like this sorry for this experimentation but i needed to show it live just in case i'm analyzing the here 77 i just saw 77 there somewhere okay 77 over there yeah so i'm guessing it's logging this information somewhere and then and then after that it shows you the information 72 over there it might give us 72 in a second no yes something like that 79 well it yeah and then it looks like it's just looking at the highest one and that's the one that it shows instead of the average one which is as you saw it could be 20 degrees less 30 degrees less okay if we remove the boost i'm just going to remove the boost for a second here and let's keep on evaluating this so now it went down by a lot obviously without the boost there's less difference but it's still showing us the highest one because if you pause the video at some point the average should be now 44 or 43 when in fact it shows 47. that that's what i was trying to to explain on the comments uh the couple of comments last time so it, it's not the first core as i mentioned it's the second idea which is the highest temperature of the core instead of that it should actually be reading all these temperatures or the ones that actually apply for the game may, maybe um and give us the average of that because if we're getting the cpu average in percentage we should also be getting the um, cpu average for temperature in that or at least an option that tells us hey no you want to show the average of temperature yes okay boom and you get that with that said and let me just um close this and let me go back to this and remove the core crap you see that there's a small boost in performance depending on how the game really really depends on the cpu so again let's just look at this one so we're getting an average of something like a hundred to 115 or something like that let's average the thing to 110. if we enable the boost and remember that on linux uh, on intel the boost is called uh, turbo boost and on amd the same the same thing it's called precision boost okay they, they'll boost the cpu frequency in in, in in actually very complicated ways let's just put it like that and eventually you get some boost there and we can see that we went from 100 to 115 to this boost of what 15 more fps so 15 more fps it's worth the temperature change it's it's actually the actual question so normally the way that i play it is on balance so the scheduler is, is disabled let me just disable the boost here i play it i play the games or the videos that i record like this that's it except for this thing that it wasn't here before so i'm assuming that because this extension is here it's disabling the ability for the two row boost on the intel cpu to actually mm, happen okay so i'm only playing like this the previous videos that you've seen i've always been like this in in, in balance mode sorry in balance mode um 
I'm as I'm guessing that if on Ubuntu 24.04 I enable the performance, it might give me a little bit more or something, or it might maintain itself in the highest uh, FPS that it can for a longer period of time. So that answers the questions. Why am I getting like in this case? I'm let I'm less than 20% of the CPU, and we're talking about 70 degrees Celsius or more, which makes no sense. Okay. Um, hopefully that answers that that question and explains to people when you see a temperature like that, don't worry about it because it's only analyzing the highest core at the peak of the moment that I log that in and most likely as you saw that core went down again let's do the 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 example here again we're going to enable this let's enable the core load save it we can see the the temperature super high the percentage is changing rapidly and if we just disable the the, the boost immediately goes down by a chunk what 30 percent 40 percent 50 percent okay so it's it's just a small boost that that specific core got or thread that that got that ended up having that elevated temperature and that's what i got recorded here so it's basically this is only showing you the a, the highest temperature of a specific core at the moment that i got logged into mango hut which needs some fixing because it confuses the crap out of people, including myself. Just want to enable that so you can see it again. It went up by a chunk there and you can see, you can still see the percentages are changing rapidly, but they're not really high. They're just there on average. Okay. Let me disable it because I really don't like it. I like my CPU to last for a really long time. So with that said, hopefully the video helps. Let me know if you want to know more about um, Mango HUD or configurations or testing some particular things about the games that we've tested so far here, etc. Okay, big hugs and think positive as always.